For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis, a.k.a. Keefe D, for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Davis was arrested this morning by my LVMPD criminal apprehension team, and this investigation started on the night of September 7th, 1996. It is far from over. A Clark County grand jury has indicted Dwayne Keith Davis with one count of open murder with use of a deadly weapon with a gang enhancement. Davis will appear in court in the next few days or so for a hearing to determine his custody status and to set a jury trial date. This grand jury has been receiving evidence for months and has determined there is sufficient evidence to justify the filing of this criminal indictment. What's up, everybody? And you are listening to the best of the Meet and Mike radio show. I'm your host, the Meet and Mike Speaks, sponsored by New Justice Media, where we are the voice of the everyday citizen. The time is now 30 minutes past the hour here in the Lone Star State. So let's get to it before it's too late. All right, good people. I've been gone a while. Everybody's been on me about uploading videos, but I've been taking care of business, good people, taking care of business. Now, as you saw in the video, Yes, this was out. I saw the news footage. For those of you who remember that day 27 years ago, I know I was. I was in Memphis, Tennessee when that went down. And uh, yeah, when uh, Tupac lost his life. So here's the question here. Why did it take so long? Number one. Number two. Will Puff Daddy, a.k.a. P. Diddy, a.k.a. Sean Puffy Combs, be charged why did it take so long for them to to, uh, solve this murder people had already said years ago I remember I had the videotape where the detective said look we got we know who the shooter is but I'm going to tell you why I do believe this has occurred at this point because as you saw in the video yes an arrest has been made in the 1996 shooting death of Tupac Shakur Now, Dwayne Keith D. Davis was taken into custody by Las Vegas police early Friday, 27 years after the crime was committed and charged with murder with use of a deadly weapon with gang enhancement. Now, there were other uh, people implemented in this case. Some say there were some LAPD, LAPD detectives that had come down. You know, it was a lot involvement here. Just saying allegedly. Now, Davis, the uncle of an early suspect in Shakur's death, Orlando Baby Lane Anderson, has said in past interviews, as well as his 2019 tell-all memoir, Compton Street Legend, that he was in the Cadillac that pulled up alongside the BMW the iconic rap star was in when the gunfire began September 1996. In a 2018 BT interview, Davis implicated his nephew, who had been in an earlier confrontation with the rapper at a casino, saying Anderson was one of two people in the back seat where the shots were fired. Ultimately, however, it is Davis being held accountable because Davis said in the book that he was the shooter. You see, we're going to talk about that too, the idiot. Now, for 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for Justice Clark County Sheriff Kevin McMahill's as you saw, said at a Friday news conference, while I know there's been many people who did not believe that the murder of Tupac Shakur was important to this police department, I'm here to tell you that is simply not the case, unquote. Now, now, you know, that night after they went to the Mike Tyson fight, uh, Tupac got into it with a gentleman at the casino, Orlando, and somehow, you know, Tupac won that fight. No one knows why Tupac picked a fight. No one knows. You know, you know, unless those who were there who know. So 
As you, uh, in case you did not know, he was struck four times, including twice in the chest. He died six days later on September 13, 1996, at the University of Medical Center of Southern Nevada, after his mother, a Phoenix Shakur, consented to have him taken off of life support. Now, since 2002, detectives have said this dude, Baby Lane Anderson, a Compton Southside Crip gang member, was the one. But here's the thing. How did P. Diddy get involved in this? Where does he fit in all of this? Well, the thing is, P. Diddy, Puff Dad, I, I'm so used to calling him Puff Dad, supposedly hired a hit, put a hit on, on both Tupac Shakur and Suge Knight. One million dollar bounty. Yeah. See, detective said this. Detective Greg Harding that Sean Puffy, Puff Daddy Combs put a $1 million hit on both Tupac Secure and Suge Knight following the highly publicized rap beef involving himself and Biggie, you know, Christopher Wallace, a.k.a. Christopher Wallace. Cardin claims the music mogul had close gang ties in L.A. and hired Crips member Dwayne Keith, Keith D. D. Davis to carry out the hit. Now, was Faith Evans aware of Tupac's murder? Well, it that's used to the uh, widow of AK Big Smalls in the late Big Smalls I mean says she knew about uh, did his plot to kill Tupac after the West Coast rapper was murdered Keith D claims that he contacted Diddy and Evans let him know they were responsible for the death so here's the thing if there were did P. Diddy pay the bounty did he pay the bounty now I think what put the nail in the coffin for this guy Keith is that he went on Valad TV. He went on Valad TV and subsequently was paid $20,000 I do believe at that time. It was um, a couple of years ago. And he was paid some more money on some other speaking engagements. Running his mouth and he wrote the book. So most likely he was one of his 15 minutes of fame and won his time in the limelight. Rule number one, keep your mouth shut. You had a lot of things going on here. Never should have gone on that interview with Vlad TV. He never should have written the tell-all book that he was a shooter. Now, will Keith implement Sean P. D. the Combs in the head? That's the question. The million-dollar bounty. Will he sing? Will he sing like a canary? Will he tell all who was implemented? The ones that still alive, that is. Here's the thing. 30 years subsequently, just about, most of the people are deceased. You see how these investigations go? All of a sudden, what evidence you have now that you didn't have back then? That's the question. You subsequently had a suspect. But all of a sudden, you have pretty much 30-year-old evidence to come forward. Think about it, people. Think about it. Now, this may sting a little bit. Okay, but who cares? You see, who cares? Most of the kids are probably that maybe was in that era that were just babies don't even really know the ties to Tupac. They may know some of his music, but they didn't grow up in this era like Generation Xers did. And at this time, it's been so long ago, we're going, okay, yeah, they got they got the guys subsequently who shot Tupac, but it's so long ago, what is the impact it's going to have? Tell me, what? Unless they go after P. Diddy. Then that could be something. Now, that's the sight to see. Now, uh, P. Diddy, my advice to you, sir. Do not attach yourself to anything that you can't walk away within 30 seconds when you spot the heat around the corner. And it's coming. That's what I hear. And if it is, uh, get on the plane, private jet, and get the hell out of the United States of America. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. But this is where we are right now. They're talking about it, yeah, but most people think they knew about Tupac, and they didn't because they were just babies back then. Even the ones who, grew, who, who were born after that, let's say, what, 2005? They don't know anything about Tupac. We're talking, we have to go back to the late 80s, early 90s, during my era. 
They wait this long. Why? There's no statute of limitations on murder. We know that. There's no statute of limitations on murder. We know that. We got that. But look, it's been so long and what? How long would this story last here? Uh, would the trial be televised? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's going to spark some, some uh, well, that's going to make some headlines. But who's really going to be enthused about it? Us exes saying, I remember when Tupac was, you know, dear mama back in the 90s. Yeah. Okay. Doug Manchin, one of my favorite songs. But here we are. It's almost like the Kennedy assassination. You know, these you take all these years off. I'm beginning to think there's something behind this. This waits so long to people. People are deceased and it's not as a, this thing is not as, as it should be. Cause it's been so long ago. And people say, okay, they got him. Okay. And uh, yeah, but it all depends on who else he implements. So anyway, I hope this can put some things to rest for the families of the late Tupac Shakur and Christopher Wallace. Because we got to talk about that too, you see. Anyway, just thought I'd jump on here and give my two cents about it. But is this the end of P. Diddy? Will Keith sing? Will P. Diddy be implemented? Will he be charged? That is the question. Let's wait and see. Until next time, this is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Have a good night. I understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on.